Mother. Mother, why do you constantly call me? Do you have any idea what kind of bill you are running up from New York? Mother, I work all day long. And I'm going back to work, and I work all night long. Because my boss wants the book to go to the printers, and we have a deadline to make, Mother. Mother, I really wish you would stop worrying about me. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Please stop worrying about me. I love you. Bye. Thank you. Lots of luck this evening. I always have luck. Yeah, it's great, Rob. 
Saved a seat for you. Why, right. thank you. Tonight is going to be different. We're going to get you, Kitty. Oh, well, you can certainly try. All Kids, right. Kitty. Um, yeah, well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need too many. Oh, funny. There seems to be a lot on the table. Very funny, Polly. Deal the cards. Any Have a fear. Kitty's here. Let's go. Uh, listen, maybe we should have gone to a motel. Motel cost you ten bucks more. Well, well my car. Your car? Hey, fella, I don't do business in cars. I mean, what are you, a teenager? <laughs> no, it's just that I'm a little weary. My wife ever found out that I picked up a hustler. Oh. Hold it, buddy. I'm no hustler. Oh, I just happen to need the money. In fact, I don't do this that often. Would you believe it? I've never done it in my life. You're kidding. No. You mean your wife's the only woman you've ever been with? I know that's hard to believe, but it's the truth. <laughs> well, maybe you like the change of action. Well, yeah, that's what my psychiatrist said. <laughs> uh, a 50. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I'm going to take out the $10 that I spent at the bar. Hell, you are. Look, buddy, I'm giving you a break. Oh. Well, could I ask you a question? Sure. What would it be if you uh, charged me by the hour? Well, uh, let's see. How many hours do you want to stay? Well, uh, why don't we just say that uh, my watch is broken? <laughs> uh, okay. I'll let you know later what you owe me in extras. Do you need another rack, Kitty? No, thank you. I have enough. Sure. Most of it is mine. You're not leaving now, are you? Oh, I have to go to work in a couple of hours. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And good evening. Don't forget to tell them where you got up, Kitty. I'm going to tell them there isn't any left. Don't trip on my chips, eh? I stayed so long. <laughs> hey, babe, where do you get your energy? Don't complain. I went for a lot of extras. <laughs> you know him? No. See the way he ran out of here? She never has any visitors. Never. Well, she's got him now. Only this place must be loaded with hustlers. <laughs> she's no hustler. Yeah, nobody's a hustler. See you, babe. Yeah. Mr. O'Hearn, what happened immediately after you were arrested? Those two big shot cops over there came into the bar where I was sitting with my girlfriend without saying a word. They dragged me out of there, handcuffed me, threw me in their car, and took me downtown. Did you know why they took you downtown? I have no idea why they took me downtown. They didn't let me talk to nobody, didn't let me talk to my lawyer, nothing. Your Honor, may I approach the bench for a consultation concerning my client? You may. I'm to take you out of here. Now. What's up? Homicide. It's a slasher again. Thanks, five. We can't leave the courtroom. You been on the stand yet? Yeah, but the DA may call me back again. Look, the boss told me to get you the hell out of here. You want me to be cited for contempt? Are you saying that you were not informed of your constitutional rights? I wasn't informed of nothing. Nothing! And you signed a confession under duress. What else could I do? That big one, Wade, there. He was strangling me and his partner, Blake, over there. He was crushing my head. What else am I going to do? We have a serious problem here. Your Honor, in the Miranda case. I know all about the Miranda case. I must interrupt these proceedings. This defendant has had his constitutional rights violated from the moment he was arrested. Therefore, I feel it incumbent upon me to suspend these proceedings and dismiss the case. There goes the ball game. What'd the monkey do? 
Oh, the monkey robbed a bank, killed the cashier. They say we committed two errors, so he gets another turn at bat. How many have we lost this year? Just nine. <laughs> You happy? You and that rag that you write for? Are <laughs> you big news, Lieutenant? The hero of the police force. What do you want, Bert? You seem to want to lock up everybody in the world. Well, that son of a bitch was guilty. Oh, he was, huh? The judge didn't think so. He got a fair trial. You opposed to that? No, I'm opposed to scum like that who uses every trick to get away with murder. And I'm opposed to guys like you who make heroes of them. Now shove off! Hello, Bill. They about half an hour ago. Girl? Yeah. Yeah. Staff? So many times I lost count. Okay, I'll call you in the morning. Here comes the police box. Any clues, Lieutenant? I won't know anything when I read it in the newspapers. Now, that's what I call a cooperative cop. It's the first door on the right, Lieutenant. Turner's already up there. Who found her? The landlady. How long has she been dead, Doctor? About four hours, I'd say. I'll know for sure after I do the lab test. Is that the weapon? Yeah, that's the baby that did it. I think it came from the kitchen back there. Her neck was almost severed. Sexually molested? Yes, she was, just like the others. I'm gonna throw up. Anything missing? No, nothing as far as we can tell. This character was after only one thing. Looks like he got it. The landlady's here. Bring her in. Oh. Oh, she was like a daughter to me. Did she have any boyfriends? Not that I know of. She came from New York a couple of years ago. Oh, what am I going to tell her mother and father? We'll take care of it. Thank you very much. I'll see you around, please. Good. OK, we take the body out now, Lieutenant. Yeah. Lieutenant, uh, there's a lady who lives downstairs. Uh, said she'd like to talk to you. Oh. I'll bring her in. Yes, sir. I think I saw the man that did it. The murderer. When? Oh, it was, uh, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning. No, no, it was 5. I, I was just coming home, I remember. Alone? No, no, I was with this, um, uh, uh, my, my uncle. A and I, I saw this man come out of this apartment and he rushed downstairs. What did he look like? Oh, uh, well, he, he, was, he was young. And he was tall, like about you. And he had, uh, dirty blonde hair, kind of wavy. But he had strange eyes, you know, weird. Take her downtown and let her look at some of the monkey shots, huh? Oh, uh, if you don't mind, really, I'd rather not go downtown. Why not? Oh, uh, I, uh, I don't like police stations. <laughs> hey, I know you. When I work vice, I bust you for prostitution. She has a big sheet. No kidding. Oh, no, sir. I'm afraid you got the wrong person, not me. I'm a working girl. Where? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm unemployed at the moment. Look, I'm going to forget about your record, huh? You pick this guy out for us, and I'll let you do a little hustling without a pinch. How about that, huh? Thanks a lot. You're a generous son of a bitch, aren't you? Uh, always, baby, <laughs> always. I'm going to have to padlock this apartment. I like to tell the reporters. You tell them that there are nine guys on that Supreme Court that have helped these bastards an awful lot. Go ahead and tell them! All I want is five minutes with the guy who did this. And then the Supreme Court can have what's left of him.
What do we know about this girl? She got quite a background. Car player from Gardena. She had a secret life, huh? Was she a loser? No. No, she's a good player. Made money at it. And during the day, she worked in a publishing house. She was a reader. Did they know she was into gambling? No. The publisher was stunned when we told them. You know, hundreds of players go to Gardena. And over a year, this uh, obviously could add up to thousands. Now, how in the hell are we going to interview thousands of poker players? We're going to interview a million if we have to. We'll run them all now. Your friend the pigeon is here, Lieutenant. I'll talk to my friend in the hallway. Hey, Angie. What do you hear? Zero. These flakes are hard to find. Psychos. What about the girl? Zilch. She was a good one. No guys in her life. Married to a deck of cards. Mm. How about neighbor talk, prowler, strangers, anything like that? Nothing. This guy doesn't fit into any pattern. It isn't as if we're looking for a guy who sells hot jewelry or pushes drugs. We're looking for a sickie. Yeah, a sickie who should be put away. Eh, I don't know if you'll get this one, Lieutenant. One of the girls has got to live and give us a description. Well, get me what you can get. Uh, the odds are a million to one. Angie. Lieutenant Wade. Hi. Uh, hi. Hey, I, uh, I just read the papers. You on this case? Yeah, why? Well, I got a job with a record bureau. Just mug shots and all that, but, uh, well, I thought maybe I could help you. Uh, please, please don't help me. Don't even try. Oh, come on. You have no faith in my ability. No, honestly, it's not that. It's just that you're not a member of the police department yet. Well, can I still come to your lectures? Yeah, sure. You're enrolled. Yeah, well, thanks for that, anyway. Bye. Every 25 minutes, a murder is committed in this country. Every 10 minutes, a girl gets raped. Every 80 seconds, there is a robbery. Not to mention aggravated assault, pickpocketing, and dope smuggling, and, and all the other assorted crimes. All men are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Now, this poses a dilemma because it is tough to get juries to convict. This inhibits the police officer so that sometimes he, uh, Sometimes he thinks about replacing the lenient judge. Yes, Miss uh, Somerset. Lieutenant, I, I have to register an objection to your statement. Yeah, go ahead. I don't think that the so-called criminal is necessarily an enemy of society. Well, I don't think he's any different from any man or woman in this room. And I do not believe that putting a man to death is necessarily the answer. Oh, well, you got a, a right to your opinion, don't you? Go ahead. At one point, I myself attended an execution. Lieutenant, I thought the whole thing was gruesome. It, it was completely inhumane. And when it was over, I thought society had gained absolutely nothing. I'm not trying to change your viewpoint. All I'm trying to do is show you some of the problems that you may run into when and if you become a member of the police department. We're going to discuss capital punishment at, uh, at the next lecture. Thank you very much, and... That's all. Oh, professor. Professor, did I, uh, did I say anything wrong? I was just trying to give my opinion, that's all. Say, Professor, do we still have a dinner date? Yes, of course. I'm not going to penalize you because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But um, you'll change. Oh, no. Are you getting anything out of my course? Sure, the point of view of a hard-nosed cop. Oh, so you think I'm hard-nosed, eh? Typical police mind. <laughs> what are you getting into the police service for? Maybe I can change the thinking of the guys at the top. Oh, no, no, no. It's too late. The goons have taken over. Yeah, I know. Look what they're doing to us. Oh, come on now. You knew what it was going to be like when we met. We wouldn't get to spend too much time together. I know all about it. Thanks, Jack. 
Where you been? I haven't seen you around lately. At the police station. I'm the star witness. Oh, that's right. I saw your picture in the paper. Nice shot of me, huh? That was great. That's when I was a model. Think you'll ever catch that guy? Oh, boy, I hope so. I mean, I'm afraid to walk the streets. Kind of nuts around. Hi. Hello. What do you have? Uh, seven and seven. Seven and seven. seven. You alone? Uh-huh. What's the matter? Have we met before? Well, we might have, but I don't remember. Huh. You look like someone. Who? I don't know. What the hell are you doing in my world? I like it there. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Oh. The redhead, that's Nancy. Who's Nancy? She's a whore. I gave her license to work the place, so she saw the murder. She's our only witness. Oh. There you are, sir. Thanks. You must have a lot of friends, huh? Not that many. You kidding? A girl can't be too careful. You read the papers? Yeah, had a lot of bad men around. Really? The girl that was murdered? Mm-hmm. Lived in my building. No. Kidding. I knew her. Well, where do you live? The other end of town. Why? Want to come over? What's the tariff? Fifty. Hmm. Well, you come high. Look, honey. Anything good is expensive. All right. Let's go. Well, looks like she found her trick. She's going to work. <laughs> What's the hurry? You are. You're in my hurry. Come on. Hey. <laughs> See you later. I feel sorry for prostitutes. Why? Oh, well, they must be terribly unhappy. Oh, most of them are quite happy. They do it for the pimps. They don't want to work. They take the easy way out. Yeah, but that's society's fault. I mean, they need money and jobs. They should be trained. Could train mostly these day and night, and they'd still rather lay on their backs than work. <laughs> if you'll excuse my saying so. How much? Three dollars. Keep it. Hey. I thought we were going to my place. Come on, hey. It's all right. My place is much better. Looks kind of creepy. Come on, my old friend in his penthouse. It's fine. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Come to Mama's place, huh? We'll have a good time. I'm comfortable there. I gotta think about water beds. This guy's got a water bed, okay? Come on. Okay. Come on. Right this way. Come on. Let's go. This place doesn't look like it has a penthouse. It's right in the back. We go in the back way. It's fine. Believe me. You like grass? I got some Hawaiian. Great stuff, man. Blow your mind, really. You like music? What kind of music? Soft? Rock? I've got them all. Rock? I've doubled the price. Huh? Make it a hundred. You know, I, I like you, baby. I really do. You know, I like you the minute I laid eyes on you. Hey, wait a minute. I'm afraid of you. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm harmless. Oh, my God. I remember you. Oh! <laughs> Slasher, all right. Yeah. Lock of her hair and her bra is missing. That's his trademark. What the hell would he slash a whore for? She's going to give in to him anyway. She was her only witness. That's why he had to get rid of her. Come on, folks. Stand back. Come on, out of the way. business here. I have an account here. Mm, you also killed a cashier here. Don't you have any feelings about that? Don't harass me, cop. You're a bone killer, Chicky, and you're going to kill again. The next time I'm going to plant you six feet under, but there won't be any molly called judge who'll give us a bad call. You're harassing me, Wade. Don't play in my ballpark. Get out of my district. I'm an innocent citizen. That's what the judge told you. Now you leave me alone. See that funeral parlor across the street? 
If I were you, I'd order some of their merchandise before the prices go up, huh? Nancy Shelton, your soul is with God. Life was not kind to you, but your heart was pure. O oh Lord, do not bring your servant to trial, for no man becomes holy in your sight unless you grant him forgiveness of all his sins. We implore you, therefore, do not let the verdict of your judgment go against her from the loyal prayer of Christian faith is commending to your mercy. Rather, by the help of your grace, may she escape the sentence which she deserves. For during her earthly life, she will sign with the seal of the Holy Trinity, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. You know this girl? No. What do you know, man? I need help. This Detective Wade has given me a lot of heat. What do you expect? These bank jobs strictly for the birds. If I help you, what will you do for me? I'll come back to work for you. Shacking up with some dizzy tomato who's all junked up and talking all over town. I told you before, Chicky. Get rid of her. I'll get rid of her. I promise. I can do some of your hijacks for you. What can you do in your condition? Yeah, but do you know I'm good at my trade? That cop Wade is here. Well, your man is here. Don't look now. Better start praying. Yes. Mr. Albertino is expecting. Oh, yes. Go into the living room, please. He'll be right down. Right. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Lieutenant Wade. Now, what brings you to our side of town? Now, isn't it nice to be in a low crime area for a change? Freddy, move away from the lieutenant. You make him nervous. You see, people here can afford to obey the law. I saw you at the funeral. Yeah, Nancy, a good kid. Used to go to school with my niece. One of your girls. Oh, come off it, lieutenant. I don't have any girls. I'm a family man. Yeah, she's one of the girls out there hustling for you. They pay you for protection. Lieutenant, you're insulting me. What was Chicky doing at the funeral? Have a drink. What do you have? Some white wine. Tony. Excuse me, Charlie, Al, Freddy outside, please. Thank you. Look, what's the matter with you? Chicky doesn't work for me anymore. He's a goofball, a small timer. I never liked his style. Yeah, you got Chicky, a lawyer, too. Did a good job for him. Got him off. He knew all the technicalities. No, no, no. Chicky called me up. Did I know any lawyers? I gave him three names. He picked one. But I didn't do anything illegal. Uh, no, nothing except bootlegging and hijacking and pimping and running a few whorehouses. Oh, you got it all wrong. I do a little gambling, but I got a racetrack where it's legal. I'm running a nightclub. Business is good. What do I need trouble for? Chicky have anything to do with knife and those girls? Oh, come on. Chicky's a small-time burglar, and you know that. Chicky's next job. I expect you to tell me all about it. Well, if I hear anything, I'll tell you. And then you'll owe me. Yeah. No, thanks. I'll owe you. No. I had that 
that guy in the palm of my hand and I let him get away. How could you have known? Hey, why are you making this such a personal vendetta? I gotta get that son of a bitch. I gotta get him. Well, if you don't get him, the world's not gonna come to an end. No, I know. A lot of murderers walking around. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Mama called. Yeah. She wants me to get married. Mm -hmm. She's gonna love me. <laughs> oh, no. She's already got somebody else all picked out for me. Yeah, probably somebody rich and young. No, you're not rich. And you're not young. Hmm. Lieutenant, this is Angie. Yeah. Can you come to my newsstand? I got something interesting. All right, Angie, you'll be right there. You gotta run again. Yeah. Oh, you were right. I never do get any time with you. You belong with the police force and the criminals. Everyone but me. Why don't you commit a crime? Strange characters been hanging around lately? Huh? No, insurance. Oh, she was a pretty girl, wasn't she? Yeah, she used to come in here. Hello? You are a cop. No insurance. They made a claim, damaged the building, I gotta ask questions. And I don't get involved. I don't know nothing. Thanks. Hope you get them, officer. to meet me on the corner. Why'd you go in there? Nah, I didn't get anything from her anyway. She did to me. She gets up about four in the morning. She saw a guy come out of a kitty's apartment house. He parked his car in front of a store, which is a block away. She took down his license number. Why? She bets on the numbers. She bet on his. It lost. Who knows? It might be nothing, but... Uh... It might be something. Uh... That old lady's a snoop. Did you have dinner? No. Here. Oh, thanks. And uh, no booze. Lieutenant, you know I don't drink. Yeah, uh, not before nine in the morning, huh? <laughs> Lieutenant Wade speaking. 35W10 Watt. And the DMV on Cal license plate 611 LHC right now, huh? 10-4, Lieutenant. Cal license 611 LHC. Oh, Lieutenant Wade, just in time for lunch. Uh, thanks, I just ate. Beat it, Cynthia. You're telling me why. I want a hot car. Where would I get that? I don't know anybody in that business. You got four used car lots and six garages. Saw anything wrong with that? No. Your sheet shows that you were once nabbed for shipping some of these cars out of the country. Remember that? That was a little foolish just that one of my boys went in for, but I put a stop to it. Ah. I'm ready to make a deal. <sighs> well, I'm listening. I want the guy who drove this car, Ford, 1974. This is the license number. Your guy's probably changed it by now, repainted the damn thing. Lieutenant, I'm surprised at you. I hope it hasn't been shipped away. Who's the guy you're looking for, a chicky again? No. This guy stabbed some girls. The last one was yours. That car? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like to get that pass before you. No, you leave that to us. See what you can do, huh? I can't promise anything. You give me the name of this guy and, uh, you can keep the car. Why, Lieutenant, that's illegal. So is stabbing girls to death. When have you become a detective? I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to help. 
I mean, just stay in your own code. Oh, come on, Jim. Why can't you use me? I've got, I've got some ideas. Because you're a bleeding heart and all for the criminal. The victim is always at fault. Yeah, and one of these days you might bring in an innocent man and roust him. And I say we're taking a murderer off the street so that he can't do it again. Life is sacred and he has forfeited his right to live. But one day you may get an innocent man. Listen, Wendy. There's a murderer walking the streets right now and he's on his way to kill number seven. She probably looks something like you. Now, if we can save her life, isn't that what it's all about? Do you believe in the very brutality you're trying to stop? Please stay out of my case. You're assigned to do some work, so... Go on, do it, huh? huh? Record Bureau. It's for you. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello, Lieutenant. Sabatino. Can you come over right away? I think I got something for you. All right, I'll be right there. Hey. I hope you got something good for me. Boys, take your shoes for a walk. Sit down, Lieutenant. I think I found your guy. At least I found the car. Give it to me, Abatino. <laughs> oh, not so fast. Hold your horses. You know, in life, you gotta give if you wanna get. What do you wanna get? I'm the seller, you're the buyer. You want this guy bad, but I got the car. Where is it? Boy, in an awful hurry. Come on, I'm a kill. But what's the deal? All right, this is the deal. I want you to lay off all my operations, my car operations, my girls, and my gambling operations. Yeah. And your hijack and merchandise operations down at the docks, too, eh? Oh, no, no, no. I don't steal anything, my friend. I buy merchandise, and I buy cars. As for girls, people have been buying them for thousands of years. Look, you lay off me, and you can have this guy. This is a deal. You're asking a lot. Well, you want a lot. But how bad? I'm not gonna get the guys downtown to give me a clear shot. Ah, oh, sure you can. One word from you and they'll lay off the whole deal. Your boss loves you. You're his super dick. How do I know you got the car? Test me. If you wanna catch this smut, is it a deal? Do I have your word? Yeah. You have my word. Give me a hand. Don't break your word with me, Wade. Don't do it. I'm your friend now because I gotta be your friend. But you owe me. Yeah, I owe you. We covered Gardena the last three days. Must have talked to 500 players. She was a loner. How many men did you use? 20. Look, I'd like you to call them off for a while. Huh? I'll probably have something else for you in a couple of days. Don't you want any help? I'm just acting on a, on a hunch, and I got to do this alone. I'm only trying to... I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, but, you know, I can handle myself, and uh, I don't need any protection. Uh, we understand each other. Yes, sir. Thanks, buddy. Some people around, copper. Are you tricky, man? No, no, now lay off.
Sergeant Blake, homicide. Check his goons. Did a number on me. A real slug job. Are you hurt bad? No, I'm all right. They grabbed my gun and I want you to report it. And I want you to pick up Chicky. You got it, Lieutenant. Well, that's ten more you owe me, partner. I thought you never played this game before. I'm a fast learner. Yes, sir. Can I have some white wine? You know a guy named Kernan? Billy Joe Kernan? Never heard of him. Used to live upstairs. There's a lot of people who live upstairs. They come, they go. Now, what's that for? That's a 20. It says you know what he looks like. He's tall, skinny, got dirty blonde hair. Uh, he got a haircut the other day, and I think he's got uh, uh, greenish blue eyes. He's a creep. We got a lot of his tabs here. He owes us 90 bucks. Yeah, he owes me money, too. He's a deadbeat. Yeah, I know. Did he ever work? He says he did. Well, who the hell knows? He's a card player. Where? Who do you think? Gardena. A five and ten player. <laughs> He's a sucker with fast hands. Even when he cheats, he loses. <laughs> uh, what kind of car does he drive? Well, he buys a different car every week. He had a, a 74 Ford. Uh, what clubs he play in? Only one club. He says he's lucky there. The El Dorado. Thanks. Maybe I'll get my 200 bucks back, huh? Yeah, yeah, if you do, get my 90. Yeah, I'll try. Seat at this table right over here. I'd like to sit on the table there. Have a seat open at that table also, sir. Go right ahead. Thank you. May I have your collection, please? No, oh, how much? Two dollars every half hour, fifty dollar buying. I'm dealing in. Okay, I gotta get some change. I'll sell them to you. Bring your ante. Blue chip, blue chip. Oh, it's a dollar. I open. I'll call. Call. I'm out. Call. Not race. I call. I call. I call. Call. Burn. How many cards? Two cards. One, two. I'll take one. 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 Three for me. One, two, three. And I'm Pat. <laughs> Are you always Pat? <laughs> no, but I like to play my hand that way. Jeez. <laughs> the cards fall all over you. What do you got, a machine? Damn, well, tonight's my night. <laughs> you looking at my hand. Hey, you're going to hold it out like that, sure. Well, you're going to have to pay to see this hand, mister. <laughs> all right. Now, the other cards. Give me two. I haven't had a winning day in six months. Uh, somebody's got to lose. So God chose you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm out. Too much for me. I'm out. I'll raise you. Well, I see that and I raise you. I'm out. I fold. Uh, hell, that's too much for me. I call. What have you got? No, I'm paying to see your hand. What do you got? 
Yeah, full house. <laughs> Very nice. I just got four little kids. Mm. Oh. Mm. And all of them came from the dealer. Have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'd have crippled you if I'd opened my mouth. So what do you want? How are you No. No. <laughs> I missed my ride home. Give me a lift. Where you live? L.A. What section? Oh, well, the Wilshire district. Wilshire and uh, Barando. I think you better take a cab, you know? Oh, come on, I'll give you a favor. They caught you cheating after taking your chips. Hey, man, if you're after a piece of my action, forget it, because it's off. You know, I'm not going to... I don't want your action. Look, you and I could work this place together and really rack them up. Hmm. No, I mean, I'm a loner. See, I don't, I, don't, I don't go with nobody. I mean, you make your own ball game, okay? Yeah, sure. Just an idea. All right. How about that ride? Uh, yeah, okay. You come here often? Now, look, man, we're not going to talk, okay? I'm going to drop you off in the city, and that's it. No conversation. Right. I appreciate the ride. My car broke down yesterday. That's why I didn't have one tonight. Right. Uh, this is a nice little buggy you got here. Hey, man, no talking, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Hey, man, no smoking, all right? Ah, oh, Jesus! Why does it bother you? Yeah. Well, I'll blow it the other way. Oh, man. Crack your window, will you? Okay. In line, man. This is it. It's gonna be a long walk. That's too bad. Yeah, thanks anyway. Any cabs around here? I don't know. So long. Yeah. Score, but look, you're not going to get the $500 I won you when you're on, okay? Uh, uh, hey, man. I don't want to cheat his money. It's crock. Size isn't enough. Now, I'm telling you, I'm really a sociable son of a bitch. I love to talk. <laughs> Think I'll call the police. Put that phone down, friend. Oh, man, what the hell do you want? Turn around and face the wall with your hands in the air. Listen, man, if you want half the money, I'll give it to you. Come on, huh? I need the dough. Let me keep half, please. Hey, I'll give it to you, huh? Just let me keep half the dough, please. I don't want the money. I want to see if you're my man. What, are you a queer, huh? <laughs> huh? Now stay right there. Don't move. Don't even breathe. Get out of my drawer, man! Why are you snipping all my things for? Like you are, my man. So my girlfriend, she lived downstairs. Hmm. Oh, that's nice, and she wears all different sizes, doesn't she? You're a cop. 
That's a good guess. You cut up little girls, don't you? And then do a lot of dirty things to them. Where's your warrant, huh? I don't talk without a lawyer, and I know my rights. Yes. Well, those girls had rights, too, but you didn't give them a chance to call their lawyer, did you, before you murdered them? I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> You've had enough, cop. You're for a bit out of trouble now. So are you, pal. So are you. How many did you do it to? We got you down for six, but there must have been a lot more. You got a wrong guy. I don't even know if you're a cop. I'm not. I write books. And you know a lot of beautiful stories. Now spit them out. Come on. Get out! <laughs> Man, this is brutality! You know that? Yeah. It's gonna get a lot worse if you don't open up. I can't! Why not? I mean, how did you get me, huh? Oh, it all came to me last night. In a dream. Man, I don't know why I did it! I don't know! I'm sick! I'm sick! I'm sick! I got these wild attacks! And I just got Then you go out and get it all out of your system. Don't you? yeah. What are they going to do to me, man? Nothing. A good lawyer, and you'll get off. A good lawyer takes money. Oh, I know a bank robber. He'll help you. Oh, this girl, Kitty. When did you spot her? Kitty. She came in the club one night and she played at my table. She was beautiful. Like an angel. And I knew she'd never go out with me. So I followed her home that night. Just to see where she lived. I didn't do anything to her then. How did you get in? Got a bunch of keys. I used to be a locksmith, so I used the key. I got in with a cinch. She came home. I hid in the closet. I watched her for a while, you know. And then she saw you. I went up to her, you know. I stabbed her just once. Before you attacked her. I had to make sure she didn't scream, you know. And you did it while she was dying. I want to stab her a few more times to make sure, you know? Yeah, 15 times. You were right behind you! 15 <laughs> times! You were right behind your damn butt! No, no, no! I had to, it was the only way I could get her, you know? <laughs>
Wendy? Yes. Jim. <laughs> What's wrong? What time is it? It's almost six. Oh. What were you doing out so late? Just running down some leads. Did you find anything? No. Not even close. Jim, sorry to call so early. Did I wake you? No. I was just getting ready to get dressed. Okay, we picked up Chicky. We got him in the cooler. Did you roast him? No time. His lawyer got a writ. You better get down here right away. I'll be right there. I gotta go. Oh, you just got here. Can't you stay? Jim, something is wrong. I had a vision jiggy, baby. You rat cop, you ain't gonna rouse me again, I'll tell you that. Mm. We're filing charges against you, Lieutenant. This is false arrest, is it? We had a right to question this man for the murder of a woman. Hmm. If you're speaking of the Kitty Michaels murder, my client was in court that day. You know that very well. well there were other murders. We got reason to believe that he's a suspect. Oh, suspect hell. That's a plain old Irish rouse. You can leave me alone, Wayne. You sent a few of your goons out to do a little assault job on me, didn't you? You have proof of that. Just making that garbage up. Get, on, Doc, Get that. your hands off. Get out of here! I'll see you again, Wayne. I'll see you again. Let's get out of here. You got something personal against that guy? I got something personal against all murderers. We're in a war and we're losing it. Get that, huh? Sergeant Blake, homicide. What? The hell you say? Give me the address. What's up? Officer just found a guy dead in his room. Shot between the eyes. Thinks it's a slasher. OK, go ahead. What? Got it. Lots of evidence. Pretty sure. You mean to save the state the trouble? I can't believe it. Let's go. Lieutenant, we got a suspect in the other room. Save it. He's a window washer. He's got a record of rapes. Did you tell Blake you thought this was our guy? Yes, I did, sir. He's definitely our man. All different sizes. It wasn't robbery. Why not? $500 was found in his pocket. What caliber of blood was it? Nine millimeter. The man who did it had to be standing right here. I see. Oh. What was his name? Anybody know? Yes, I do. Um, he's Billy Joe Kernan. He was so good and so kind to me. I don't know why anybody would want to do that to him. She was his girl. Um, I saw a man coming out of his room about... Six o'clock this morning. What were you doing there? Well, I lived downstairs, and uh, I had gotten up to walk my dog, and that's when I saw the guy coming down the stairs. What did he look like? Oh, uh, well, he had a handkerchief covering his face, so he had dark hair and tall, uh, six feet, two, three, maybe. And he was smoking a cigar. Say anything? No, he just went out. I, I didn't know anything had happened. Did you hear the shot? No, oh, nothing. I didn't know anything was wrong. Billy played cards, and he was always coming in late. I, I hope you guys get him. They'll be over now. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay, to take him away. Yeah, go ahead. He and Kitty were both card players. Probably followed her in from Gardena. Yeah, the thing is, who followed him off? You see that? Mm. Yeah, I see. Okay. I see. There you are, sir. 
That's all I can say in French. Mm -hmm. Here's to you, Lieutenant Wade. Well, I'll drink to that. Uh, what for? For solving the case. Well, you know, I didn't solve it. Somebody else solved it for me, and then he committed murder. Uh, probably the boyfriend of one of the dead girls. Probably. Well, now you really do have your work cut out for you, don't you? Finding the new murderer. Well, it's all part of the police rat race. Murder never ends. Would you rather be in a more peaceful profession? I think that this world is covered with dirt. And if everybody got together and started rubbing and scrubbing someday, this could be a nice place to live in. And I believe that if we could get to the criminals before they kill, and find out what it is that gets them to the point of murder. Work out those fantasies through other channels. Maybe we could help them. Most of them are just off course. Mr. Latino, this way, please. Oh, Lieutenant Wayne, nice to see you. Oh, hi. Miss Somerset, Mr. Abatino, Wendy. How do you do? My pleasure. I hear you got your killer. I didn't really get him. Somebody got him for me, but... Uh... Of course, I'm gonna try to get the guy who did it. Well, don't try too hard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who is that? In my profession, you get to meet all kinds of high and mighty. Sometimes the high and uh, crooked. Oh, and I take it that he is part of the high and the crooked. He's kind of connected. But he has been uh, useful to me. Well, you mean you're friendly with him? Let's say there's kind of a, an uneasy truce. Telephone call for you, Lieutenant Wade. Hello? Lieutenant, this is Blake. Hi, Blake. What's up? Well, we're dragging Crystal Lake for a body. The lake? Where? North Shore. Wait a minute. Looks like they're bringing something up now. I gotta call the corner. You better get over here right away. All right. No, sir, I wasn't able to make that out, but I did see where they threw the body. It was right about over there. I was working on my boat when it happened. Here's the gun. They found it on the bottom next to the body. No rust on it. Probably thrown in at the same time. This is my gun. Are you sure? Yeah. It's the one they grabbed from me last week. I made a full report on it. Sergeant, take it to the lab, run a ballistics on it. Right. That ties it to Chiggy. Looks like it. Let's go. Charlie, take us off this week. Twenty girls were busted. The vice squad. Well, that's over. What do you mean? From now on, we operate in the clear. Well, what about your friend, Lieutenant Wade? Don't worry about Lieutenant Wade. He won't be bothering us anymore. Are you sure? I told you, Chicky, I own him. I didn't know that Wade could be bought. You wanted this smut killer? I delivered him. Now Wade is mine. All mine. For how long? For as long as I want him. What about this job tonight? I'm giving you one last chance. It's an easy one. It's a warehouse, $250,000. Chemicals, drugs, I'll need one truck, that's it. What about the rest of the boys? No, no, I gotta do this alone. I handle the driver myself. My fight at KO there will be in the background. It's gonna go smooth, don't worry about it. Yeah, I hope he won't be shadow boxing. Does he talk? No, he's a little punchy, that's all. I use him for fights, you know, for a front. For heavy stuff, I use him once in a while. He's gonna be all right, don't worry about it. Give me the money. 30,000 to one. Mr. Abitino, would you like to take a cruise today, sir? Sure. Boys need a little fresh air. Thank you, Captain. Yes, sir. You know, since I got this Wade in a straitjacket, it's like walking into Fort Knox and asking the guards to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Stephen. Wendy? I'm so glad you could come. What's the matter? It sounded important. The other morning when you called. Stephen, he lied to you. He just walked in the door. Hey, Jim's supposed to be your friend. When he came in, he lied to me, too. He told me he'd been out all night running down leaves. Do you know what you're implying? Yes, I do. Why do you think he uh, doesn't want to find Billy Joe's killer? To tell you the truth, I've had the same suspicion. If it turns out we're right, he's going to need both of us to help him. Stephen, thank you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I mean, what are you prying for? What the hell business is it of yours who kill that rotten bastard? Oh, me! What do you want to do? Kill me the way you killed him? Where'd you get that? I know, I know you. What are you gonna do about it? Why don't you turn me in? You'll be a big hero, and you can forget about me. I can't. I know what the hell do you want to do? Well, no. Look, I did what I had to do sometimes in police work. You have to kill in self-defense. Not in cold blood. No, in self-defense. Look. You're not a paragon. You can't remake the world. You like it this way? What are you gonna do? Exactly what I did. If I'd let him go, they'd have slapped his wrists. And in a couple of years, he'd been out on the streets again, doing exactly the same thing that he has been doing. Is that what you want? You know it's not. For you. Okay. Do what you want to do. Turn me in. I can't do that. I love you.
Jackie sent me. What for? Well, he couldn't come, and I got to talk to Kay. All right, come on in. Hey, how come uh, Chicky didn't come? I came when you rose. Nobody shows up. I could have been top dog in this town. I heard that. But they all let me down. You never trained. You're out of shape. They told me the guy was an easy mark. Give me a lucky punch. Yeah, sure. Hey, I'll give him a ride home, okay? Okay. I'll see you in the gym next week, champ. Okay. Chicky told me to drive you home. Hey, that's awful nice of Chicky. Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. Don't worry. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicky sent for me to help with his new bank job. You know about that? Yeah, sure I know about it. <laughs> he needs help. I think I'll take a cab. Listen, you punch-drunk bastard. Chicky's been using you. How much money did he tell you he got on that last bank job? What bank job? A bank job where he killed a girl behind the window. He beat the rap. I know he beat the rap. But how much money did he tell you he got? He got 2,000. He got 15 grand. He got what? 15 grand. How much did you get? 500. Well, that's pretty good. He kept the rest for himself, huh? He crossed me. Okay. Chicky would cross his own mother. I'm a police lieutenant, homicide division. And I'm arresting you for bank robbery and murder. Oh, no. Hold it! I'm taking you downtown, and I'm going to book you. You tricked me. You want to make a deal? What kind of a deal? Chicky's gonna hijack a truck at midnight. A truck with a lot of stuff. I'll tell you how it works, I'll give you the whole layout. Mm -hmm. For what? One good turn deserves another. I don't make deals. Chicky's gonna kill the driver. Mm -hmm. And you're one of his boys, huh? Where's the job gonna happen? What are you gonna do for me? Start talking. Maybe I'll overlook a couple of things. Is that Bettino? What's the problem, Chicky? I was waiting for Keo to take him on tonight's job. He drives away with Wade. What's going on? Your punch-drunk fighter? Yeah. Ah, uh, don't pay no attention to him. Lieutenant Wade's checking on everybody just to make it look good. Don't worry, I got him cool. All right, what about tonight's job? It goes off as schedule. Okay. Well, he was at the fights, wasn't he? I don't know. I didn't see him there. Well, he was there with Keo. He could have picked you up if he wanted to, didn't he? Yeah. Look, just do your job tonight. You know, not for nothing, Chicky, but you're uh, very nervous. Yeah, right. I'll give Wade a call. Okay, thank you. Move it, Moreno. What was the emergency call for? Lieutenant, Chicky's doing a job for me. Oh, yeah? Where? I'll cut the ball. You know where. You're gonna stop the hijack. Uh-huh. So what? So that's not our deal. I want you to lay off. I can't do it. Hey, look, you gave your word. Not on that. On everything. No way. You're breaking our deal. No, there was no deal on Chicky. Listen to me, Lieutenant. You can't break your word with me. I'm not some two-bit punk that you throw in the jail. And I gave you a man. Not on that. Okay. Okay, I won't forget. See you next trip, Sam.
said, Jiggy. This is as far as you go. That's what you think, Wayne. She was a junkie. She, she's my girl. She, she, was, she was gonna go to you and tell you everything. I couldn't let that happen. Wait, don't shoot me. Take me in. Let me go to prison. Don't shoot me. Wait, Wait don't kill me. Let me go to trial. Please, please don't kill me. Please. Please, wait. Please. Hey, Hello, Al. Hey. <laughs> Listen, uh, now that Chicky's got me, let me talk about handling you. Huh? I might be interested if you can get me some fights. Of course. We got a match for you a week from Friday up in Oakland. A stiff, a beginner. You ought to take him out of him one. Right? How much? How much are we getting with Chicky? 500. <laughs> Man, we can do better than that. Huh? Like what? Like a grand? Grand. Huh? Well, we're gonna bet on you, K.O. Because this guy's going right into the tank. All right? And he ain't coming up for air. <laughs> I'm all, all right. for it. Good. K.O., oh, well, wait a minute. But well, I want you to sign a contract for you, K.O. Okay. I got right? no manager now. Maybe I'm gonna give you the best contract you ever saw. We'll talk about it if I take a shot. We'll talk about it now. Handle it, though. How long a contract do you want to give me? Five years. Five years? Sure. You must have a lot of confidence. Sure I do. But you're gonna have to train hard, K.O. Because I'm gonna take you right to the top. Hey! What the f***? That's for ratting on Chicky to the cops. It wasn't me, it was magic! Goodbye, Squealer. Maybe we should give him a shot. Yeah. How do we Lieutenant? Telephone for you at the bottom. I'll be right back. Uh, hello? Lieutenant, I just got the report. They strangled K.O. at the gym a little while ago. Check his goons. Right. You know them? Sure I know them. I'll get you the information tonight. Who's that? We got a package for you. Wait just a minute. Somebody at the door. Talk to you later. Angie, don't open it.
weights fall on us. I should have brought my beast. Come on, Charlie, not to give it to me. He read it. Abigail, Abigail is the guy you want. Come on, give me a break. No, 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 no. It's for you. Yeah. You're kidding. Really? Jesus. <laughs> they botched it up. Get Wendy. This is Lieutenant Wade. I want to talk to Blake. Blake, meet me at Wendy's. <laughs> There's a moving. I'll tell you what. Shut up! Here she is. Welcome aboard, Wendy. Start the engines, Captain. Wendy! Wendy! Her car is here, but she's gone. Caladino. Come on. Stand by to get underway.
right, you go on the other side and drive him over here. When he comes here, I'll nail him. Give him the guns. Come on. You killed him. I killed who? Billy Joe. Look, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. How'd you get in here? He was a locksmith. He taught me how to open doors. Hmm. I could get you on breaking and entering. Well, we were going to get married. I went with him for five years. 
And then you killed him. It's a lot of crap. It was you I saw coming out of the apartment that morning. Remember? You had your face covered, and I couldn't really see that it was you. I thought maybe you were a friend of his or something, and I probably still wouldn't know if I hadn't seen your picture in the paper in your eyes. Yeah, your eyes, then I knew. Why did you kill him, you son of a bitch? Listen, you dart. You better get the hell out of here before I do book you. Oh, yes, please, do. Then I'll tell them all about it downtown. I mean, here I am describing you to your partner, and he doesn't even connect you with it. Look, your friend, Billy Joe, is a rapist and a killer. Liar! He admitted it to me. <laughs> Lie? Who are you to judge him, anyway? I mean, the things you people do, the way you lie and cheat, you're worse than some of the criminals that you bring in. Get out. Oh, right. Get out. Oh, right. I'm going. But you'll never forget me, mister. I feel sorry that you had him so wrong. Out. Wait. I've got you right. Now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do this alone. Let me go to try. Please wait. Please don't. Can't you stay? Self defense. I'll see you again, Wade. I'll see you again. You son of a bitch! You got no place to go, Chicky!